Hi, this is Tom from 2 Cave Aquatics. Just want to give an update on my uh, battle with a little bit of algae I've had in here. First, I wanted to say these little auto sink lists are worth their weight in gold. They're just constantly cleaning the plants, the leaves, the other surfaces in here, and the glass. I've only got two of them, so I think uh, next opportunity I get, I'm going to grab a couple more. And uh, what I did was a few weeks ago, I took off one of the full length Hyger uh, full spectrum lights on here. So I'm just down to the one light. And that's helped quite a bit. I knew I had too much uh, light going on in here. I don't know if you can see that little thing right there or not. Where'd it go? Anyway, I'm going to get back to that. Here it is. Where is it at? Right here in front of my... See that thing right there? Right there. With the white head. And it's getting ready to land over here by this cave. I'm glad I'm on this one because I... Just noticed them recently in here in this aquarium about a week or so ago and I looked them up I thought to try this worm but this has got a if you can see it's got a thicker on the front it's thicker and wider than the rest of it and uh, anyway I looked up detritus worms and I don't think it's a detritus worm. It doesn't look exactly the same and I'm not seeing anything like sticking up, poking up out of my uh, substrate here. Uh, there's nothing like detritus worms sometimes will collect along the top of the glass. I'm not seeing groups of any type of worms even with my magnifying glass. But, uh, I noticed these things just the other day. I've only ever seen a couple of them at a time. And uh, I saw one over here the first time and it was swimming around. And uh, one of my neon tetras grabbed it and ate it. The second one came up, one of my rainbow fish my dwarf rainbows here uh, grabbed it and scarfed it up. I saw a third one and uh, Neon Tetra grabbed it too and ate it. So I mean that's a good thing that my fish are eating them. I have a, a, a 1600 power digital microscope that I've hooked up to the phone and I've looked at at my substrate here. Of course there are all kinds of uh, microscopic little critters in this tank. I did put seed shrimp in here many months ago and uh, there's still seed shrimp in here. I see them uh, moving around in the substrate. Uh, there are lots of other little microscopic bugs and critters here in the substrate. Uh, I'm gonna make a video with that microscope and then uh, I guess there's a way to add audio to it so I'm looking into that but at any rate if anybody knows exactly what those things are it'd be great I haven't found uh, anything that ex um, matches it exactly on uh, Google search From, I've compared them to lots and lots of videos on detritus worms and to be honest with you, they just don't look the same as the detritus worms in the videos or online. Um, I do know I've transferred some sand and plants from this tank to other tanks and uh, these things are also in my 20 gallon high as I've seen my uh, Denison Barb eat them 
he'll dart through there when he sees them and he'll eat them and uh, I started a little tank downstairs and I brought some a little bit of sand and some water from this tank and uh, what else something just to, to uh, quick start that tank with and yeah I've seen uh, a couple of those little things in there too I'm not overly concerned about like I said right I'm not seeing thousands of them or even hundreds of them or even 50 or 20 at a time it's usually just one or two of them uh, will snake their way up and around in here and then uh, one of my fish are grabbing them and eating them so that's a good thing I saw one swim over here earlier and what it did what they do is they'll swim around and then go straight down and attach to the rock I saw them do that over here swim around go head first and down on uh, stick tail up on this rock here on this cave and I saw one do the same thing on this cave over here so anyway there's a little lot of stuff floating around here I was uh, doing a little trimming and getting some of these little leaves out of the tank and looking for my two golden apple snails I haven't really seen much of them since I put them in here but I did find one and he's way back in there underneath that cave on the side of it so they're fine um let's see as far as algae another thing I did when I did uh my water change I dropped the water down just below the top of this cave and I got a little misting bottle and I sprayed it really good with hydrogen peroxide the whole top of this rock here and I let it sit for a minute and then I came back at least twice and really sprayed it heavy on there and let it sit for a while while I was doing my water change and uh, then I added the fresh water back I had lots of bubbles in here lots of purling on my plants now this rock here on top of this cave notoriously there was a ton of hair algae on top of this thing I was constantly pulling it off but there's uh there's none there's none today at all it uh, turned a lighter color within a day or two and it's all gone now and uh, that's pretty much the extent of the hair algae in here occasionally I'll have some that'll grow and flow off of that filter back there but that hasn't happened either and uh, so that was good a hydrogen peroxide treatment using a spray bottle I sprayed this really well twice let it soak for about five ten minutes at the most and then uh, refill my tank and uh, within four days or so all the hair algae is gone there's none on this rock uh, there's none growing anywhere else in here not that it won't come back but that was a success and I was watching uh, MD fish tanks the gentleman's got a YouTube channel I think he's from the UK maybe I'm not sure MD fish tanks and he was going over the lighting on some of his tanks the algae problem he was having and he is just like I did he had two long uh, strip lights on top of his tank he took one of those off he was still have a little bit of problem and what he did was he on his LED he put a piece of black tape every couple of inches just like just put a piece of black tape every few inches all the way down and it blocked out like he said about 50 percent almost 50 percent of that light and uh he had a lot more better he had a lot better success with his algae growth so instead of doing that i didn't want to get a bunch of sticky tape on my lights 
So what I did was I just slid it over farther back to where this strip is on my hinge glass. And I got it about right in the middle of it. And you can tell just from doing that where I have it up here in front or way in the back. Just having it directly over that strip is uh, give me just about what I want as far as light and intensity and uh, way slowing down the algae and even my kabamba plants I'm not having to trim and replant those as often now they're growing a little slower my next thing is going to be um, trimming these red plants I haven't trimmed any of my red plants yet a little apprehensive about that but I know that's got to be done here soon so I'm going to be trimming some of these I'm probably just going to trim them and toss them in uh, my 10 gallon tank down here and let them root out for another aquarium and uh I've got a little surprise for everybody downstairs. I want to make a video about that here. And uh, I want to thank my subscribers. I've gotten some new subscribers lately. So I'm going to go here soon and make a video about what I got going on downstairs and uh, how that's going so far. And then another little surprise after that. That's all downstairs. So hope everybody has a great day. I don't think there was anything else I wanted to touch right here. All my shrimp are doing great. I've caught uh, netted. No, I'm not netted. I used that little pot bottle um, trap that I made. Just cut the top off of a pot bottle and put it back inside. I weighed it down with a couple of rocks, put a little bit of food in it, and uh, set it in my tank and catch some of my shrimp out of here and transfer them to other tanks. The shrimp are doing great. I'm looking forward to some of my uh, new purebred yellow ones that have some babies in here. I haven't seen them yet, but they're all from an original order of about 20 skittle shrimp from mark shelley aquatics or mark shelley shrimps he's online too he's on facebook and uh youtube yeah i got those are some of the first things that went in this tank and all the shrimp i've gotten since then are just from that uh original order a lot of them are already reverting back to their to more wild colors these are what they look like in the wild but some of them are still holding their reds and their blues so that's enough for today on this tank hope everybody has a great day and uh, I'll give you another update on this tank all the algae problems seem to uh, be under control and melting away here without any addition of chemicals or much mucking around. Two little auto single catfish. I've had these amount of shrimp in here. You can see that one's busy working on tiniest little bit of algae over here. Uh, nothing beats a mono shrimp I don't think when it comes to this. And they're uh, considerably bigger than my Neocaridinas. They get about three inches long, I think. They live a pretty good long time, too. It's too bad they don't uh, have eggs in here. That one's jumbling eggs, but they have their eggs in uh, brackish or more salt water than they do in fresh water. But nice little white shrimp. So that was pretty easy on the algae control. One of my little auto sinkless back here feeding on biofilm and good algae that I have on the side in the back of the tanks. So I'm gonna go get ready to make this video about down what's going on downstairs. 
everybody have a great day and uh, I'll see you again soon.